Hello, welcome to Mountain Bike Action Magazine. My name is JJ and today I have something for you to revel in. The Revel Rail, in fact, the Rail 29. This thing has 160 millimeters of front suspension travel, 155 millimeters of rear suspension travel, and it sends. It's such a fun enduro bike, not quite your typical enduro bike, but we'll get into that later. So before I ramble on for too long, I'm gonna get on this thing and I'm gonna show you what it's capable of. See you in a bit. Revel did more than just update the wheel size, going from the Rail 27 to the 29. They also utilized larger bearings, beefier hardware, and refined the tune in their already exceptional CBF suspension platform. With a 160mm travel fork, the bike has a head tube angle of 65 degrees, which can be slackened slightly with a 170mm travel fork if you so desire. The reach on our size large was 469mm, with a seat angle of 76 degrees. The chainstays are relatively short at 436 millimeters. Our test rail 29 is the X01 build, which comes with a SRAM X01 Eagle drivetrain and carbon cranks, code RSC brakes, race face, next R carbon bars and alloy stem, and a 175 millimeter race face turbine R dropper post. Revel provided their own RW30 fusion fiber rims, which are claimed to be 100% recyclable and are laced to Industry 9 Hydra hubs, all rolling on Maxxis rubber. The Rail 29 utilizes the CBF suspension platform originally created by the Canfield brothers for use on their full suspension bikes. This suspension platform is designed to offer a progressive leverage curve for a bottomless feel and high anti-squat number for the most efficient pedaling performance possible. They've paired the suspension system with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate, but it's also coil shock compatible. The fork chosen for our test rail was the brand new Zeb Ultimate RC2 set at 160 millimeters. This fork features the all new damper and air spring and the addition of the buttercups. These allow for vibration damping for optimized rider comfort. Our initial test of this bike had us scratching our head trying to figure out the fork setup. We eventually figured it out and were able to send it with full confidence. Climbing was excellent on the Rail 29. Now, there were no PRs set climbing to the top of our favorite trails, but we were always comfortable in the saddle. At times, we flipped the climbing switch when we met a long road climb, but more often than not, we kept the shock open, especially on more technical trails. The relatively short wheelbase and slightly steeper head angle really helped when navigating particularly tight sections. Climbing technical stuff was about as much of a breeze as it could be. We found the bike never limited us when attempting particularly daunting climb. The suspension remained active, even when making explosive efforts up tricky sections. Overall, the Rail 29 climbs very well, which made getting to the descent with energy to spare much easier. With that energy we saved on the climb, we found ourselves taking even more confidence into the descents. Once we figured out the fork settings, all bets were off. The Rail 29 isn't the most stable enduro bike on the market, and it wouldn't be our first choice to ride in an enduro race, but that doesn't mean you can't go fast. Its capability is more in its maneuverability than its stability at speed. That brings us to where the bike truly shines, in the corners. We don't care what corner you're riding, or how slick and off-camber it might be, the Rail 29 will find the grip. The CVF suspension system hugs the ground incredibly well, which gave us the confidence to lay off the brakes a little more in each section. This incredible maneuverability is also handy when hitting jumps and tight sections. It was thrilling at every turn and made us long for the next shred session aboard the Rail 29. So what's the bottom line? The Revel Rail 29 is a great bike from a great company. If you're looking for a good, capable bike for all around riding from the bike park to trail riding, the Rail 29 might just be the one. It does everything well and we find ourselves glancing at it every time we are getting ready for a ride. It climbs and descends well, but more importantly, it's fun to ride. It's very apparent that a lot of passion went into the development and production of this bike. So much so, you can feel it in the ride itself.
go. Another epic day on another epic bike. I hope you like what we thought of this bike. If you did, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Also, subscribe to our magazine. You'll get monthly issues in the mail and or digital, which are awesome. We work on them every month. And with that, we're trying to come up with these videos every week. So it'd be awesome if you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Whew. Oh.